Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so you can become an A-lister. All you have to do is hit that red button down there, turn on your notifications, and leave me a comment down below. Today we are having some delicious Olive Garden by request, and I tried to find the video where um, the comment was left uh, for this request, so I'm so sorry, but shout out to you. If you leave a comment down below, then I will pin your comment. Um, yeah, so I have never done this on my channel, and it's one of my favorite places to go. So, today I'm trying something new. I am trying their, it's, um, Fettuccine Alfredo Pizza Bowl. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I have not had that before. All the other stuff I have had, I, I have had. So this is pasta fajol. I added some parmesan on top. A salad, breadsticks, and then a side of Alfredo. Move this down. You guys like my little decorations in the back? I thought they were cute. I just figured I'd pick them up. I got them from Target. A couple of them I got from like the the dollar spot. I think I don't know that little section. There's like some cheap decorations. They always switch it out. All right, I'm gonna have some soup. Mm. so good this is my favorite soup I used to like the pasta not the pasta I used to like the um what's it called the potato and sausage one mm, the sopa toscana I used to like that one but I figured out how to make it homemade and since making it homemade, it tastes better than at the restaurant. So I don't ever order it anymore. Hmm. Where's my olives and stuff? Oh, there we go. I like to take these. Hopefully they're juicy. Mmm! And put the juice on the salad. So I just bite the ends off and then pour the juice on. Mm. so I think my camera is a little bit too close closer than I would like so if, if my eyes get cut off from sitting all the way back I'm sorry alright let's dig into this thing and see what we see what we're working with I think it's just chicken, so this is like a big chunk of chicken and some cheesy alfredo sauce. Alright, so I the plan, I don't know how you're supposed to eat this, but my plan is to eat it like a taco salad. So like eat the inside and then tear off some of that outside as I eat it. Come on. Mm. That is really good. Oh my goodness. So this is off of their Pronto lunch menu. So I think it's only available to like three or four. Mmm, 
So I think it's like their Alfredo sauce with chicken. And then it looks like they put extra cheese because you got the stringy. You got that cheese pull. This is so good. Let me open it from the front so you guys can see. Hopefully the light isn't washing it out. Oh yeah, I would definitely get this again. So they have this with meatballs. So you can get like the marinara sauce with the meatball inside and cheese. Oh my god. So good. That's a big chunk of lettuce. Mm. We're just eating today, guys. No story time, no true crime. Just eating. Let me know what you guys did for the weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, so today is my first official day being childless. Both of my kids are off to outdoor school. They left yesterday. Mm. It was hard for me. I cried. I held myself together. Like I got teary eyed. On the way to drop them off while we were waiting because they had to like check in and stuff and we waited until the buses left um, so I tried to hold in <laughs> my emotion as best as I could because I didn't want to make my kids feel like they didn't want to go because I'm sad 
you know? I didn't want to make them feel that way. And, um, yeah, so I tried to keep my tears in. But let them know that I was sad that they were leaving. Because I also <laughs> didn't want them to feel like, you know, like I was excited for them to leave, you know? It was really hard. And I'm like trying so hard not to cry right now and talking about it. But yeah, so we stayed until the buses left and then uh, <laughs> as soon as the buses left, I just lost it. Man, it was tough. I felt like I felt like I was the only parent crying. But then like I'm if you I've never been without them. You know? And ever since Tony was born, it was like having twins. And now that they're both off, it's like I don't I don't have another child to like care for, you know? So it's like I lost both kids at the same time, if that makes sense. Like I saw other families there and they had younger siblings, older siblings. But it's just like, I have nobody now. You know what I'm saying? Besides Jose. So. Mm. So we got home. And then, let me tell you. I kept myself busy. Once I got home, I just kept myself busy to keep my mind preoccupied. I rearranged my room. I went through all my clothes. I got rid of three garbage bags of clothes for donation. <clears throat> Some of those clothes were Jose's. Majority of them were mine. <laughs> yeah. I kept myself busy and then once I was done cleaning it was like so quiet like as quiet as it is during the day when they're at school like that's how quiet it is it was I don't, it was just so quiet. Like, I'm used to hearing Tony yelling at the screen because he's playing Fortnite, you know? And Sophia, and I'm used to Sophia doing her TikToks and, you know, showing me these funny TikToks that she sees. But I'm not going to have any of that. For the, for the, till Friday. So for the next five days. Yeah. A part of me felt sorry for the some of the kids because their parents or whoever it was that dropped them off like 
some parents, they just dropped their kids off and left. They didn't even wait around until the buses left. It was crazy. Like... And the kids couldn't take their cell phones. So, I, I can only assume that they made it there okay. Like, there's no way for me to check in with them. I got lettuce in my hair. So yeah. I hope they're having a good time. I hope they were able to sleep last night cuz they usually stay up pretty late. Because they start school at a later time. We never in elementary school. They started school earlier than what they start school now. So, I let them stay up late so they can sleep in late. But outdoor school, I'm pretty sure you wake up early. If I'm remembering correctly, you wake up pretty early. And then you go to sleep early. I was talking to one of the parents on my daughter's volleyball team and her daughter had just gotten back from uh, outdoor school the week before mm. and she was telling me that her cabin, the daughter that her cabin stayed in, had they, they had to um, like uh, turn the heat up and everything like so hot because they had bed, bed bugs. I guess some of the girls woke up in her cabin um, the next morning and they had been bit all over. So. Mm. <laughs> I'm hoping that that does not happen with Sophia and Antonio. It's also exciting at the same time because they're going to the same outdoor school that I went to. So my son said he's going to try and see if he can find the tree. Because towards the end of your stay. So each kid is supposed to bring soil from a special place. Sorry, I feel like I keep spitting. Um... So each student is supposed to bring soil from a special place and then towards the end of your stay uh, the camp gets all of the soil together and then they plant a tree and yeah so my son said that he's gonna look for <laughs> the tree that I planted for the year I told him the year that w that I went and he's gonna see if <laughs> he's gonna see if he can find it So, hopefully they keep them numbered, you know, or like labeled somehow. reaching in front. I try not to block the camera. It's because I'm left-handed. Mm. 
Mm. This tastes like it has like um gouda or Asiago maybe because it has that like stinky cheese flavor you know I'm just drinking water That way I'm not like blocking the view with my arm. I gotta find things to do to keep me busy. <clears throat> Besides cleaning. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym um, after filming this. Not right after, I'm gonna give time for my food to go down. <clears throat> And then I'm going to have the rest of the night to figure out what else to do. A part of me wants to go in their room and like go through all of their clothes and stuff, but I think I'm going to wait until they're here. I'll wait until they're here to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm pretty satisfied. Thank you guys so much for eating lunch with me today. If you have not tried this and you like chicken alfredo, I highly recommend it. It's really good. It's only available on their lunch menu. And yeah, leave me a comment, rate this video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn your notifications on, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.